Shalom Aleichem, everybody. I hope all is going well. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the importance of learning Torah and why it is considered one of the greatest deeds. So in the morning when we say Birkot HaShacha, we, we say a prayer in the, in the Brachot before learning Torah. We say that there are many good deeds that a man can do in his life, such as helping a bride afford a wedding, visiting the sick, um, burying the dead, um, praying early morning and night, giving charity, and other good deeds along those lines. But then at the end, it says that learning Torah is equivalent to all of them combined. So how is that possible? How, how could learning, just simply learning a, well, an, a genius topic for sure, but, but how could that be as great as all these incredible deeds combined? So to help answer this, I'm going to tell a quick story. A few days ago, a friend of mine asked me, he said, he said, Sasha, he said, how do you guys do it? How do you Jewish people do it? Religious Jewish people, how do you guys do it? You guys keep Shabbat, you keep kosher, you learn Torah, you do this, you do that, holidays. It seems like you're giving up so much. How do you give up so much? How do you sacrifice so much? So I responded, I said, look, at first glance, Yes, it may look like we're giving up certain things. But that's just the first glance. Once you learn about the reasoning behind doing these good deeds, it changes everything. Once you start learning in general, you start learning the Torah. You learn the stories of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. It feels like you're, you're going along for the ride. You're really learning the wisdom of God. So when you learn these things... You're going to want to do the mitzvot. So it's not that you're giving something up. No. In fact, you're actually gaining something. Because when you learn Torah and you learn, you gain, you you because everyone's going to come across these moments of inspiration if they try hard enough. So once you come across these moments of inspiration, you're going to want to channel it. You're going to want a piece of it. You're going to want a part of the Torah. So how do you do that? Ah, Shabbat. That's a chance. Keeping kosher. Ah, I'm living the Torah. So that's why that so that is why we say that learning Torah is equivalent to all of them combined. So because it's going to motivate you to do these things. And it's never too late for somebody to start learning Torah. No matter where you were yesterday, where you were today, the fact that you're alive here right now is an opportunity to learn Torah. And it's an opportunity to do tshuva. And tshuva starts by learning Torah. Learning about the wisdom of God, how to apply it in this world. Because it is real. It is real. The Torah is real. It's not... I, I please, please, I beg you to read it, to learn it, to search for it. Because if you go, if you want to learn Torah on your own time, your own will, it is like nothing you've ever experienced before. If you've learned it in school and you're like, ah, it wasn't for me, I'm telling you, when you have it in your own desire, when you want to learn Torah from your own heart, you say, I want to learn Torah, not because the teacher's telling me or because he's telling me or she's telling me. No, I want to learn on my own. And then you go in with that mindset, you go to, into a synagogue, you make a chavruta with a rabbi, you, you go in Chabad or you go watch a Torah video, you, you read the commentary. If you do that from your own will, you will reach heights You've never thought imaginable. And I promise that. So so please take me up on my word. Please please try to learn Torah every day, whether it's five minutes a day, ten minutes a day. Make that a part of your day, and you will see magic. So thank you so much. God bless you all.